I throw that out and down. It's a very readable book, and people, um, and people, I think from academia and outside, can actually or do actually identify with that. And it's quite interesting story. It's a story of a friendship, of intellectual friendship, but also of a real friendship between two people. And um, that's a wrong chat because we started lunch. Mm -hmm. In fact, we prepared. in Czech. And it will be published in the journal that at that time 
he is now in, Israel, in chief of the largest daily in Central Europe, but at that time, he was editor in chief of a relatively large journal called Critica, which circulated underground and had 3,000 copies. Now, 3,000 copies is a lot. 3,000 copies. I don't know how many copies as New York Review book has, but uh, probably five. Uh, this is a letter that Havel wrote to Wichnik, which I kind of discovered with Adam's help, in which he said, I'm sending you this, this essay that you told me to write, Power of the Powerless. This is how it was created in that, in that other end. So, something that gave people an idea how to resist the system, author, authoritarian system. And if you look at that, you know, I, I, I put it down because it's so interesting. Kahlo was meticulous. He put in points what he wants to do, how he wants that to appear, you know, who should respond to that letter, you know, he under, you know, and then you can see on the top it says, address Adam Michi, well, the Adam still lives there, this is his address, this is Aleja Przegaciu in Poland. Mili Adamia, right, that's the letter. With this letter, the uh, power of the powerless came, and was published in this journal. The journal is uh, kind of that size, but quite thick. Uh, and in, in a second you will see the, you know, we don't know these things anymore. Those are Sami's dots. And people had to disappear into garages or sheds outside the cities. And you know, they really ri risk a lot because you could not have paper. You could not buy paper, you could not buy ink. Things have to be invented or smuggled. And that's how Critica was found. Critica was a serious journal, political journal, serious political journal. Of, of discussion on the future. This is how it looked if you look at the text of those things. It was very difficult to read. We all read it. We all read it. It was, you know, it was because you had copies, you know, there was handmade. And remember, we bought before Xerox period. There was no Xerox. Forget about computers. The typewriters were registered. You could not have a typewriter if you did not register it at the police. Why? Because the typewriter had certain peculiarities and they could trace it down if you had wrote a flyer, right? So here is the, here is the first um, the, the, the table of content, table of content, contents of Critica, and you see who, who, who published in that very issue of Critica. And uh, you will see here, Havad Kafabo, but you also see here the father of somebody who is here in that audience. And then it's the editorial board. And that, he, and that meeting in the mountain, Adam invited Havel to join the editorial board of Critica. Poland was freer in a certain way. It was a bigger country, it was much more difficult to trace people down and to, so they had a much bigger at the time movement. You should say that this is your father of my wife. I did say it. There is an author that I didn't want to embarrass, uh, 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 Pavla. But he, she, I, I did say, there is, a, there is a person who is a father of somebody who is on the audience, I did say. So here is Pavla and Nizhi Nevesis, her father indeed, yes. And it's a wonderful, amazing uh, check this event, right? Um, and you see some extraordinary people on that list, and I'm not going to, to uh, in, in, and later on, Miklos Halas, he was a Hungarian, a science of Baranjak, later on taught uh, at Harvard Literature, I'm not going to comment on it. And this is how it looks. This is the first page of the power of the powerless. Look, I'm talking about it, I'm taking this time because this essay changed a lot of things in this part of the world. People read it and they, you know, 300 copies, at least one person, uh, 10 people uh, read one copy, you know, circulated. You had to, you were forced to really just pass it, uh, for, you know, down to others. So this is the first part, this is the first page. And you know, at that time, now we are, we are already, that was uh, 1978, this is uh, 1979 when it came in the spring. Now, in, my, uh, you know, in, a, in a year, Solidarity will be born and, uh, born. and the Polish workers read that because the parts, large parts of the essay are very accessible. And people were well educated about it. And they said, we read it and we knew what to do. <coughs> and uh, you know, if you read the book, you will, you will see there's much more about it. And, and you know, the, I'm talking about it because this is the power of the written word. It's a power of, it, when the war, word, I, in my other life, I wrote a book, Performance of Democracy, when, pa, when words act, when you don't have to shoot, when you don't have to have a, a bloodshed, you know, when, when people are changing and not changing the system because that's how it works. So, so here we have in Polish first, the, the famous essay, which, so, so that's the story. This is several years later. So this meeting continued and continued and continued. <laughs> And then during martial law, Poland was, you know, went through solidarity, it was martial law, and people could not do it, and, 
and there was a huge movement of the post-Czech, um, which I didn't know while writing this book. I, I, so it was kind of the border became a kind of edge, active edge of those two undergrounds. And um, you can see very likely he's there, if you would recognize him. Right there. He has that, right? He has that. Okay. Um, here, that's two people, two friends talking to each other in the, you know, in the, in the, in the forest just behind the, the picnic table. There was a lot of, um, there was cheery moments. Me, uh, Havel always brought this, this, this vodka. It's called Stara Myslivetska, old hunter vodka. And um, I don't know whether I wanted to say it, but I will just say it for Adam quickly because I don't want to take too much time. And, and the vodka actually had a hunter on the, on the, on the label. And Havel said, and you know, Frank Spring was all about this, perhaps creating this kind of better socialism, reform socialism, socialism with human face. And Havel said, we cannot have socialism with human face. Let's have vodka with human face. <laughs> <laughs> so I love this, uh, this thing. And I was trying to convince the, 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 the publisher to have to put it on the, on the cover that they didn't want. So <laughs> they settled for cigarettes, but not for vodka. So this is Yatakura, and this is how people, so this is a Polish group coming from the, you know, at some point they began to take pictures. That's a lovely picture of Havel sitting on the Polish side. You see, there were those white things which are marked the border. So CS means Czechoslovakia, and that was permanent. And he was looking towards Czech Republic, Czechoslovakia. That's his summer house. In the meantime, one of the things that happened, Poland had its round table in which they negotiated, we negotiated, Adam was one of the architects of that round table, and the first democratic elections, Gazeta Wyborcza was established, and in June the elections were won by solidarity, and in July, Adam and all those friends that you saw in other pictures, that, who were now in parliament, or they, were, you know, they were ministers, they descended on Hradeczek. This is Hradeczek, Havel summer house. They came to Radicek to talk with Czech friends. And Havel said at that time, you know, things changed in Poland, but it never have, will happen in, here in Czechoslovakia. And Adam said, wait, wait, I, I was yesterday in Prague. And Prague doesn't look much like a communist um, city. <coughs> um, soon you will, uh, the communists will be dead here, and you will be a president. And Havel laughed, but that was the first prediction, and that was the first. First, uh, yeah. they, they often talked about in their conversations later on. How the president, Adam, just running the Gazeta Wyborcza, there's also another great poll there, right, uh, right to Adam, right? Uh, again, Adam uh, greeting uh, Havel at, in Gazeta Wyborcza. This is very late picture. The story of the friendship, which is described a little bit in the, in the introduction to the book I've written, and is quite extraordinary. Uh, in, when Havel was 75, Adam uh, decided to commit entire issue, special edition of Gazeta Wyborcza, just dedicated to Havel, in recognition of this incredible 